hey guys welcome back to another video welcome if you're new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video so for today's video i do have some products from no holiday this isn't my first time hearing about them but this is my first time trying items from their website they did let me pick out a couple items and now i'm going to be showing you guys what i picked out and i will be creating some nails using some of these products that i picked out and i'm just waking up i got a late start today so do not mind my voice um so as you can see i did pick out mostly a lot of charms just because that's what i'm into and i really love their charms so i'm gonna set the pile to the side and just show you guys individually what i have so this first item here is some charms and they are some chanel charms i really love these on the website and i will go back to the website and put up like a screenshot so you can see the price and the actual listing um, but I love these because they were super sparkly and I just really love the look of them. Whenever I see Chanel charms on a nail, it just makes it look so nice and luxurious. And then I also love the fact that you do get three different colors within that one packet. This next item here are more Chanel charms, but these are a little bit different. Again, you do get three colors, but these are more of like a circle charm, um, but it still has the logo in the middle. And I just think these are just so, so pretty. Like, I cannot wait to use these. Then also, what I love about them is that they do have a curved back, which makes it easy to apply to the nail. For these Chanel designs that I have in mind, I feel like I will be able to execute them very well with the charms that I picked out. This next item here is another bag of charms. And as you can see, they are money sign. I've been wanting to do some money nails for the longest time. I've actually thought about buying some of the little prop money that I can cut and encapsulate into my nails. I feel like these charms will go really nice with a money set. Now for these next charms, I don't really know how to explain them all. But in this packet here, you do get some crosses and some stars. And I really like these because I've been seeing some designs where like you put them on the French. And I've been really wanting these so, so badly. I really love how they give you like that metallic chromey look. And especially since I have been getting into like chrome powders, I feel like these will look really nice on a design. And I also love how many that you get in here. And these will last me for so long because whenever I use my charms, I do take them off before putting them into my nail box. But if you are a nail tech or you do other people's nails, you will have to continue to buy charms. But for me, I don't really like to keep buying and buying. So I just take them off once I'm done and I just reuse them. And I know a lot of you who create content do that as well. Um, but this next item here were some pink hearts. And of course I got them for Valentine's Day. I love that sparkly look to them and they also are like kind of slanted they they're not really like a normal heart so I cannot wait to incorporate those into some Valentine's Day nails. This next set of charms here are some Hello Kitty themed charms and as you can see the size is like so enormous like I was able to fit all of those other charms in this little triangular tray but for this one I was only able to fit three and these charms are perfect for like the kawaii type of style nails where they're just so extra a lot of charms and I just really love those types of nails which is one of the reasons why I got them so in this bag of charms they did have a lot of different ones so I'm just going to show you individually so this one here is sort of like a goldfish it kind of reminds me of spongebob house as well this next one here is a pink hello kitty face and it kind of reminds me of a pop tart it also gives me like a macaroon vibe just because it kind of looks like a sandwich tree of some sort it's really adorable this next one here i don't really know how to explain it but the first thing that came to mind was a piece of toast um yeah i don't know but it's still very cute as well the next one is the most simplest one it's just a normal hello kitty face this next one we have a hello kitty and a pink ice cream cone we also have another hello kitty popsicle one we have two scoops of the hello kitty head on a stick the next two i'm going to show you are very similar except one has the entire body and the other one doesn't but I really love the bows on it. It's so cute. The last three I'm going to show you are just some random ones that we don't have any duplicates of. But I really took a liking to the full body one with the pink dress and also the moon. This next item I'm going to show are more charms and they are for Valentine's Day. Um, they have cute sayings on them like kiss me, XOXO, um, one kiss, you and me. Just a lot of different cute little sayings for Valentine's Day. And I will be giving you a reference to how big they are after each one. These charms were pretty big, but also I did love them. Like I said, I do love the kawaii style type of nails where they're so extra and long. 
This next set of charms here are still for Valentine's Day, which reads the word baby, and I really like these just because they're really long and I love how they are able to fit on a nail. Um, you get a few different colors and I love these. Also, I didn't realize on the website how some of them are matte and the other ones are glossy. I really love that. That way you have options to choose how you want your nails. If you do a matte top coat, of course, you will be using the matte charms and vice versa with the glossy. And I love how they fit long ways on the nail because wider charms are just sort of a little bit more complicated. So I love how they fit long ways on the nails, sort of like the Zodiac name charm. And with the length of these, I feel like they will actually fit on a medium sized set as well and not just a long set. The next charms are still for Valentine's Day, so simple. And these are like the little candy hearts, I really love these. Um, I couldn't decide between the other hearts and these, so I did decide to get both. I love how these are a little bit smaller, I love how they're glittery and it has some sparkles in them. They're also two colored like an ombre and I just really love these things a little bit more. Like this one has Be Mine and I just really love how they look. And they are a little bit smaller than the other ones but they are a little bit thicker. And here is the size reference. I actually love how this charm look on this nail set that I had on. Moving on to these next few charms here, of course, like I said, I do love that kawaii type of nails. So I saw these and I had to get them. They are really big though. So doing a nail set with these has to be like one of the most extra set of nails I will ever do. Um, but these are very cute. The character name, I believe is pronounced Karami or something like that. I've never seen the show, but I do know that these are just so adorable. And they also give you that Y2K vibe. Like one of them is sort of like a Nintendo Switch. And I just love the vibe of these. Like I said, they are super huge. And that's it for the charms. Moving on to this next item here. I do have some foils. So whenever I show foils, I usually don't take them out of the packaging. But for some reason, I really wanted to show you guys how long they were. So I'm showing it here. And this was actually in half. They are even longer. And just know I really regret taking these out because the static was so crazy against my gloves. I couldn't really show it right. It was sticking to everything. And it was just so hard to put back. But I'm just going to show you one by one of the foil prints. And they don't really look like much, but as you can see, they are white and black themed. The reason I got these are because I wanted some lace foils to do sort of a design for Valentine's Day. And I thought that would be very cute. Um, whenever I was picking out these items, I did kind of have like a nail design in the back of my mind, just kind of thinking of what to get. So I'm probably not able to execute all of these designs that I'm thinking of, but I will be very happy if I could do maybe two or three of them. And when going through these, I was kind of confused because I knew for sure I picked out the lace style, but the laces did show up at the very end. And this is how they look. The laces are in a white print and you do get two different styles, which I really like. You have some choices. Then also for this last one, I really did love these white roses. I wasn't aware when I was picking them out, but I really, really like these a lot. Moving to this next item, we have some sequin pieces in the signature Valentine's Day color. We have red, white, and pink. And I really love this color scheme. Like it was just giving me so many Valentine's Day vibes. For the sequences, we have some hearts, we have some flowers, we have some cutout hearts, also mixed with tinier hearts. We have butterflies, more hearts in a smaller size. Then also we have a different type of butterfly. And the last set of butterflies, I think they are my favorite, um, which is why I'm trying to get all of the colors. I don't really have many of them, but I do have a few. And just adding these to my collection, I'm able to use them all year round, which makes them perfect. Sometimes sequin pieces are a little bit hard to encapsulate, but I did notice these are a little bit thinner. They sort of have like a really thin paper feel to them, which is going to make them a whole lot easier when encapsulating into your nails. Now these last few items here, we do have a bunch of stickers or nail decals. And I'm just going to go through each of them very, very quickly just because we do have a lot of sheets of stickers. This first set of stickers, I got this one because I really love the lips on there and the little hearts and the kissy faces, the roses. If you don't do much nail art, these are going to be perfect for Valentine's Day or if you just want some hearts and some red nails. Now as we get to the last few sheets of stickers, 
I wasn't really feeling these just because they were a lot of tongue sticking out and a lot of booty. Like, I don't really want these on my nails, but I did get them for the first few sheets that I showed. But if you like these types of things and you want them on your nails, everything will be linked down below. This next set of stickers here are some flowers, and I really got them for the cherry blossoms. I really love those. The second sheet here are dandelions. When we were younger, we used to pick them out of the yard, and we used to make wish just off of those comment down below if you used to do that as well but now i don't really see much of them inside of this sticker set we do have more flowers and more cherry blossoms um for these flowers i was really thinking like spring for this next set of stickers we have disney princesses i don't think i have any like this which is why i got them um i do wish they were a little bit bigger though because like for stickers i kind of want these stickers to take up a little bit more of the nail with these i feel like the size of these are for like really short nails or for like kids who want just like some random stickers on their nails so I do wish they were a little bit bigger, but I do love the prints of these. I have been trying to get into like character nail art. So if I were to like draw on a character, making it bigger than the actual stickers for the other surrounding stickers, I feel like I could incorporate those into that character nail art. Comment down below your favorite Disney princess. For this next set of stickers here, we do have some Halloween slash Christmas. Um, I do feel like these are more for Christmas because they do have on Christmas hats like the Santa hat. And recently I did just watch the movie because a lot of people were saying like this is their favorite movie to watch during Halloween or Christmas. Um, and I watched it, I think I watched it during Halloween though or a little bit after and I really enjoyed it. But for these stickers, I was showing them one by one and I did start to realize that they are all the same. Um, so I really don't need all of these. I may include a few of them into my next giveaway. Now moving on to this next set of stickers, we have some Hello Kitty stickers. I feel like for each sheet of these are kind of like a different vibe. Like the first one were Louis Vuitton designer stickers. These are just like, um, I don't really know, but like the vibe of them are just so different. Like these here give off sort of like a Valentine's Day look because they have the heart and a lot of pink stickers they just have a lot of different ones i really love this one here like how they have the hearts with the angel wings and then also how they have like the gold outline it totally reminded me of the gold chrome powder that i've been falling in love with and these i really took a liking to these stickers and the gold outline stickers actually inspired my nail set today so if you want to see how the nails turn out make sure that you stick around for that part in the video but yeah, with these, you do get a lot of different ones, and these were just so adorable. I love how you get bigger ones and smaller ones. A lot of the things that relate to Hello Kitty. For this last and final set of stickers, we do have sort of a Mickey Mouse theme. I feel like these are more like retro. Not really, but they kind of give me like that type of vibe. These are more black and white and red. For these, I found myself only getting these for the Valentine's Day stickers. I don't know why, like I just really love Valentine's Day, like the hearts and the pinks and the red. For the other ones, I actually may give them to my niece because she loves nails, as I always mention in my videos. For a few of these, I also may pick out some that I'm going to be including into my giveaway since I did have you guys waiting for a really long time. So for these items, I did get these from Nail Holiday. I will have the website and my affiliate link down below. I will earn some commission for anyone who purchased through that link. You can get 15% off your entire order by applying the coupon code KEY15 at checkout. Um, I do recommend you check these out if you are looking for some nice nail art, whether it's stickers, charms, foils, anything like that. Okay, so I thought the previous set of stickers were going to be the last one, but I totally forgot we have another one to look at. We have so many items, but this last one here, um, I don't really know if it's one specific thing, but I did know all of these stickers gave me Y2K vibes, which is why I believe I got them whenever I was picking out items from the website. 
Like, if you know that Y2K vibe, this is going to be exactly what you are looking for. Like, um, if you've ever seen the inside of Dev's shop, like from Nails by Dev, she has such a Y2K vibe. And these are exactly what it gives. And I really love these. I think these were my favorite out of all of the stickers just because there's so many different kinds. Now we're officially done looking at all of the nail art that I received from Nail Holiday. Now get into the nails. So that same day I did try to do something very quickly. So I resulted to the Femi Beauty method using some poly gel. Um, and I didn't have my regular full cover nail tips because I ran out of the ones that I have from AliExpress. So I did decide to try them with the Eno Couture Extreme Square. And I thought it was going to look decent. I didn't really like the length. I wanted something a little bit longer. And I just really wasn't feeling the application of these. To me, they looked very sloppy and I didn't really like the length. They were all different lengths. My pinky was so much shorter than the other nails. So I did decide to pop them off. And so this is the next day that I'm doing my nails. So I put on some nail tips, which are my favorite from Crafts by Nine, always linked down below. And for the poly gel, I'm going to be using the same colors that I used for the first time, which is a pink and a nude from a cart. This pink color here is called Starstruck and the new one is called A Siesta. And I'm just going to be doing some simple application to my entire nail. Um, I do like to explain how I do apply my poly gel, but for this video, um, I'm not really in the talking mood. Like my voice, my nose is really stuffy. I thought it was going to get better. Um, and I've been at this for about two hours now. So yeah, I'm just going to let most of my application play out and then I will come back to um explain like the design and the process behind what i'm going to be doing but just quickly i do like to apply one bead going down my entire nail and i use 91 percent ice purple alcohol as my slip solution and the way i like to apply my poly gel is to pat down the entire nail spreading it over the entire surface once i get it going all the way down from cuticle to the tip i go on the sides doing the same exact thing and then once i got it over the entire surface i do like to smooth it out so that is as smooth as possible um for these nails i'm keeping the application very thin because i'm not going to be encapsulating anything so i'm just doing some simple application and i'm only showing one bead off camera i did go in and build up my apex area a little bit more but i didn't want to waste too much time on my application so i do have it sped up a little bit and i'm just gonna let you guys enjoy this process if you are enjoying the video please make sure to go ahead and like and subscribe and if you are feeling generous leave a comment down below
so here i just quickly did my thumb um i did show a lot of the application so i just went ahead and cut the thumb down but here is my application and as you can see it's so much better than the first one um the length of them are just so nice and this is only one layer like i said i did go off camera to build up my apex and the structure of these nails a little bit more then this is how they look after i did that um i didn't want to build these nails up too much because i didn't want to have to file like a lot so keeping these nails thin and simple straight to the point it was my goal um but now i did want to show a little bit of my filing so before i file i'm taking a lint free wipe and some iced purple alcohol to wipe away that tacky layer before i go into file and for the filing process i usually go in with my 8080 grip file but like i always mention poly gel is a lot easier to file than acrylic so I did want to go in with a finer grit file. I do believe this is a 100 or 180, I'm not sure, but it is a finer grit than the 8080 and I go in and reshape the nails. This filing did not take me long at all, which is mostly why I wanted to include it, just to show you how easy filing can be if you do your application, very neat, it doesn't take long at all. And like I mentioned earlier, I don't plan on talking too much, but I did just want to go in and explain briefly on how like the process of my filing. So as you just saw, I go in and do the sides first, keeping the file parallel to the side of the nail. You don't want to um, slant it, otherwise you will get more of a coffin shape. Once I do the sides, I go in and do the free edge and then I start to file on top to make sure everything is smooth. And also, I do get around the cuticle area with the hand file doing as much as I can because I can't really get around the cuticle area with a hand file like I can with an e-file so I do as much as I can so I won't have to do much with the e-file and I don't file too much in one spot I just go in with the flow filing here if I need it and then I'll go to something else just so that I won't over file and that's basically how I file my nails each and every time So due to my pillow face underneath my application, while filing my middle finger, it did pop off, but I just went ahead and continued to file it. It does give me an advantage filing the free edge because I can never really file it straight while it's on my nail. So I don't really get too mad whenever it does this, especially when I'm having a good application day or a good filing day. It doesn't really bother me too much. And after that, I did go ahead and cut off the camera because I thought it was going to be a little bit faster to just file off camera. And while I had the camera off, I meant to record it, but all of my nails ended up popping off. So I just went ahead and quickly did all of my filing, shaping, and buffing, and then I reapplied them, also using more pillow base. And this is how they are looking after I went ahead and filed. I really love the shaping of these. Um, let's just go ahead and get right into the nail art. So for my ring finger, I wanted to do a marble. So before I go in with my marble colors, I'm going to be applying a base coat just so that they have something to like bleed or um melt into so once i finish applying a pillow base just a really thin layer 
I go in with a pink and a white. This pink is from Macar. I do believe it's called Sprinkles. And this white gel is from Kara Sky. I do believe it's their Lana gel called Nova. And once I get the colors on the nail, I take a dotting tool and just kind of swirl them around. I'm not going over the whole entire nail. I wanted the marble to be sort of at a slant. And I just really make it to my liking. I'm not really good with marbles. Even though gel polished marbles are a lot easier than acrylic marbles. Um, I just went ahead and finished that up off camera. Making sure it was how I wanted it. And once I was satisfied with it, I went ahead and cured that into place. Now moving on to this next nail. I decided to do a French on my middle finger. Using this white gel liner from Kara Sky called Nova. And super simple how I do my French tips. It's a whole lot easier now. I remember I used to struggle so much. But now I love doing French tips. And I'm just going to go ahead and do this on my middle finger. Once I had my first layer down, I felt like it looked a little bit streaky and bumpy, so I'm just going back over it with the application brush and just going over it very lightly with another thin coat of white gel polish. And once I finish, I'm going to cure in place. Once I had that cured into place, I went ahead and picked out some sticker sheets that I wanted to use or I could use, I thought about using. And for the ones with the gold outlines, those are what inspired my nails today. So of course I had to use those from the Hello Kitty set. Also, I went in and picked some with some hearts, which I didn't end up using the Mickey Mouse set of stickers. I did end up using the Hello Kitty ones. And I wasn't really sure at how I was going to be placing all of these stickers, so I just went in doing a very random design um these stickers are the only things i use from the items from nail holiday that i picked out just because i felt like the charms were very big and i didn't feel like doing very super long kawaii nails today so i wanted to do something simple girly and pink and i also wanted to have like that gold element to my nails just because i liked it so much so taking my tweezers, I'm just going to be applying a lot of the stickers just randomly on my middle finger and I love how this turned out. I wasn't really sure if it was going to look right, but in the end, I love how this set looked as a whole. So once I was done applying all of my stickers, this is how it looked. I wasn't sure if I was going to add some more, so I just stopped before I messed it up. I didn't end up adding more, that's just how I ended up keeping it. So for the next thing I'm going to do, I'm just quickly buffing over my pink nails. I did decide to buff over the nails so the chrome powder wouldn't stick to anything else. But since I already have a marble design on my ring finger, I couldn't buff over it because I didn't want to like buff it away so I did apply some top coat and cured it now I'm going in with some black gel so I can create like my gold chrome design and I do love to apply chrome powder with black gel polish now it just makes it so much easier and basically with this black I'm going to be drawing on some little lines into my marble and this is going to be my chrome design for this design, I did have this in my head, but as I was doing it, I wasn't sure how it was going to look. And even though I wasn't 100% on this, I did decide to keep it anyway. Once I have all my black, I go ahead and cure it for 30 seconds. The chrome powder I'm using is the 24K from Kira Sky. I've been really loving this chrome powder and 
I know in my first video where I did my gold chrome French tips, when applying it I said you really had to add pressure to make it transfer, but that was totally not the case. I think it's just like that on top coat. Applying this chrome powder over this black gel was so much easier, like I was barely even touching the nail. That's how easy it was able to transfer. Once I was done applying that chrome powder, I'm moving over to my pinky nail and I'm taking the dotting tool. I wasn't really sure what I was going to do on here. I did try a few other things off camera, but I didn't want to cure it just because I wasn't really sure if I was going to like it. So I just went ahead and kept it simple and I'm going to be doing hearts down the nails. But of course, once I cure on my black, I'm going to be covering them over with that gold chrome powder. And I really love the outcome of these with the gold. So I just went ahead and let that entire process play out. So for my gold heart nails, um, I've been trying this cloud design for several times. I wasn't really sure if I liked it or not, but for some reason I really love these. I couldn't really get the placement right or it's just something that looks so weird about it that I kept wiping it off. Before I did this, I did have to apply some top coat over my chrome powder and it was such a good idea because I ended up wiping away the clouds like five times, like five or six times. And I just kept doing the clouds because I knew I liked it. It was just something that I couldn't get right. So at some point, I was just like, I'm just going to go ahead and do some clouds and keep it and cure it into place. And that's just what I'm doing now, which I really love how these turn out. I feel like the clouds kind of add more of that angelic effect, how the hearts with the angel wings are. Once I do my clouds with a dotting tool, I'm, I'm taking a dry applicator brush and I'm just fanning out the bottoms of the clouds. It gives the clouds such a better effect and I love how this looks. Every time I do clouds, I would never skip this step. Once I finished that last cloud, I went ahead and cured that into place. I wasn't going to overthink it anymore. And so off camera, I went ahead and did my thumb. I just ended up doing that same marble design I did on my ring finger. Since I wanted the nails to look a little bit more cohesive and a little bit put together, I also ended up adding a sticker in between the marbles, like in the center of my finger on both my ring and my thumb. But the thumb sticker is different just because I ran out of the heart stickers with the clouds. And now I'm just adding on some glossy top coat to my finished design. Once I finish, I'm going to add some cuticle oil and show you guys the finished look. After adding my cuticle oil, this is how the nails turned out and I love how they turned out. At first, I was kind of iffy on how this design was going to look as a whole, but I really do love it so much. I really love how I incorporated the stickers, kind of giving it like that Y2K vibe, but also like very girly and just pink. 
also it kind of has like that angel look to it with the clouds like i really love that about these nails and i'm super happy that i decided to redo my entire application because i feel like if i did the nails on those other femi beauty method nails they wouldn't have looked as good as they are now so i'm really happy i just took my time and just redid it even though i wasted an entire day but yeah i'm super happy at how these turned out for the nail holiday items that i received from them i will try to link everything i got down below um and i also will leave my discount code for you guys to check out if you are interested and i'm so happy we're getting to the end because this voiceover was the worst like i don't really like it but i know you guys never mind so yeah that's it for today's video let me know what you guys thought down below and as always don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video bye Thank you.